Hi everyone, and welcome to Sit in It for a Bit with Arne and Carlos. And we are, as always, your hosts. Arne and Carlos. And Sit in Bit for a Bit. Sit in It for a Bit. And Sit in It for a Bit is our weekly podcast. Uh, every Wednesday, you guys sit and knit while we talk for a bit. Last week, we were on Hurtigruten. We've just come home. And yeah, we haven't hardly packed our out our suitcases yet because we've been lazy. Yeah. And today we are actually leaving to celebrate Sutnamai, which will take place tomorrow. So today is May 16th, and tomorrow is our big national day. You guys get to see this on May 18th, which is our regular sit in it for a bit date, because it's all, always on Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. And Arne, what was the big surprise? That I was not wearing my Gubranstalen bunad, because... I got another one, and yeah. we can tell you later a little bit about that. Actually, we will tell you all about it. Absolutely. Arne ended up wearing a Setestal Fall costume, a Bunad, yesterday for Sutnamai. You guys saw it, and I'm sure you were all very, very surprised and excited for Arne. And I'm sure he got all the attention, which is fine <laughs> by me, because he, I know he will look spectacular. And he managed to keep the secret for a long time, because we knew about this since I think it was before New Year. Yeah, since December. Since December last year. And we managed to keep it as a secret. We did. But now you know. Yeah, now you know. <laughs> anyway, today is our uh, 17th of May special uh, because we are getting ready for 17th of May. Uh, where's the beetle right now? In the garage and I will go. They're going to send me a text me as soon as the beetle is finished. So you, it's not in the garage, it's at the... At the it's not the... What's the it's the repair. The, is that called a garage in English? Maybe, yeah, maybe it's a garage, but it's not our garage. No, it's, it's, it's where down. they fix the car because yeah. we're going to change or pull on, put on new oil. Yeah. And, and also this oil for the brakes. I mm -hmm. have no clue what that is in English, but all these things has to be checked before, before we go driving this yeah. summer. And well, today actually. Today, because we're gonna take the Beetle down to Oslo of because course. it's always nice to drive a Beetle on the 17th of May. Absolutely, and we're gonna put little flags on it on the front if we can get some. If we find some, if not... Not today, because today we're not celebrating May 17th. If not, we can put on a drive with our folk costumes. Yeah, but and anyway, I want... <laughs> we'll have some time. We're gonna go meet some friends today. Uh, the friends we're gonna be staying with. We are gonna go and uh, buy some food because yeah. we're gonna help them prepare uh, lunch tomorrow. A big lunch for friends. And you know, while we're shopping, we are gonna get some flags to put on the car. Yeah. I wish I had that like we had in the old days. There was this little fl or big flower that you put in front of the car. Yeah. So I've been looking for that in thrift shops, but it's really hard to find. Yeah, maybe we can so find it something. in a store like Nille or something maybe. like that. We should put, put some flags and stuff yeah. on the beetle. And tomorrow, uh, tomorrow is going to be our debut uh, in full fall costumes. In Arne's case, a brand new but old set of stars fall costume that we'll tell you all about in a bit. And in my case, a full fall costume that includes uh, the jacket. And Italy. the thing that I'm least looking forward to, the hat. You and look so good in a hat, Carlos. Well, and you can't wear it without a hat if you have a hat. I know, you have it to have naked. a hat. looks naked. Anyway, we're going to be celebrating and wearing our full costumes in style. We have been invited by the court, the royal court. We have been invited to celebrate uh, Sutnamai at the palace. We're not going to be inside, obviously, but we've been invited to hang out outside. And we are going to be standing uh, immediately below the balcony where the royal family is going to be waving. And maybe you have seen it on Instagram already. Probably you've seen it on Instagram, but you know, we're talking about the future right now. And when you see it, it's going to be the past. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be posting on Instagram stories. Uh, we really love doing the... Um, the, the then like we were reporters. Yeah. So we may be, may be doing a little bit of reporting for the Royal Palace tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe we should. Yeah. yeah. I we'll think see, we should. We'll see you on Wednesday if You'll we see. did it or not. It, and we, I guess maybe we will meet some of our cruise friends also because some of them are still in Oslo and we yeah. hopefully we will see some of you yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Look out for the one in uh, the set of stars costume and me without and the handsome the hat. one in hat. Oh well, we'll see about that. So anyway. Nice. We've got all our stuff here, and we thought, because we are in a hurry, and uh, we really need to uh, pack. And you're gonna pack, because I'm gonna pick up the beetle. Yeah. 
So we have to figure, see that like we have everything that exactly. we need. Exactly. So we thought we're going to check everything with you guys and make sure we've got everything that we need to uh, to bring with us. The weather's going to be good. It's not going to be super warm, but it is going to be around 17 degrees Celsius, which is uh, I think around 70 uh, Fahrenheit or something like that. that. So that'll be great. So if I'm not wearing myself the <clears throat> sweater tomorrow, it is super hot. Yeah. If it's hot, I'm wearing it. I don't know. I will see. <laughs> anyway, let's start uh, from the bottom. Uh, we need shoes, and uh, we've got them here. And uh, I, I checked with the Sjöhusfliden in Valle. I can actually use this for the Sattestal also. Yeah. These are the Gubranstal. Well, shoes. these are not. These are universal uh, folk costume shoes. Yeah, or in Norway at least. Yeah. <laughs> they have buckles. They have buckles with little flowers and acanthus, and uh, I wiped them off with a little cloth. Just. Uh, I think mine is fine. Yeah. Well. I've already wiped them off with a little cloth and now I just uh, want to give them a little bit of extra shine to make them sparkle. Look, we haven't worn them a lot and they're already started to be worn out. Under. Yeah. But so, still. They're quite so nice. These are the shoes and then we need the socks and. So, show them what you're working on. I'm working on the. The Sattestal socks because they are different from the Gubranstalen and I was knitting this on the cruise but. So only in the mornings. Do you want me to give yours you, a little shine? Yeah, because you really have to focus when you do this pattern. So suddenly there was a new pattern coming, and it wasn't. Um, I couldn't just knit one way and knit back the other way like I did on the other, on the top. So I had to stop and I had to take out a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I'm um, maybe this is finished for. Christmas or next 17th of May because this takes quite a long time. Yeah, but I feel it's like proper to have them even if you can't see them because yeah. the trousers are long. And I had an idea since Arne is wearing long trousers, unlike me, mine go only to the knees. I suggested why doesn't he wear t white tennis socks because it's mm -hmm. gonna be so hot tomorrow. No, I'm wearing the Gubran Stalin socks. Yeah, because I can't wear white tennis socks for my full costume. Okay. So I'm gonna wear these, so this, with different pattern, mm -hmm. and this is the same as you have. Yeah, but mine will be hidden. Yeah, and I wove you two different garter bands. Have yeah. you decided which ones? Because they're also under the trousers, so yeah. no one will see them. So I can use any one. But I have the, I have the one with pink, and I yeah. have the one with red. So, what's your choice? Or will you decide this tomorrow? This is getting so warm, maybe I should use a thinner one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit less wool, yeah. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm, so, yeah, maybe. So you can pack this for me. Okay, the so pink the pink ones. And uh, I obviously have no choice. I cannot wear tennis socks. I have to wear these, because these show. Uh, my lovely woolen uh, stockings that aren't in it for me and put his love in every stitch. And I'm going to make you another pair because they are a little bit long on the foot. They are, I'm going yeah. to make some a little bit shorter. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry when you put your shoes off. Yeah. Because now you have to be careful so the heel doesn't come up. Yeah, it takes a little while to finagle the shoe when I'm putting it and, and moving the sock around. But see, I, do I just get it. follow the pattern. I should have checked on your foot. Yeah, anyway. Uh, it's okay. Uh, I have decided uh, that I will be wearing the these bands tomorrow. Uh, for Christmas, I were I had the other ones, the ones that are uh, light blue and thinner. Mm -hmm. But for tomorrow, I definitely want to wear these. So we have matching. Yes, you made. They match. I made both for you and for me. But you know, in Sattestal, you need. From what I've seen on pictures, they have these tassels in both ends. Mm -hmm. So I have to make you ones with tassels on both ends. Even as well. if people don't see it. Exactly. Anyway, this is going in the packing bag together with the stockings, uh, so that'll be good. Then we have to wear trousers. And my trousers, I have them behind here, uh, they are knee high. And you've been cleaning them? or I have been rolling them. Rolling. You have to bring this one. Yeah, because, because they're black. You never know. So uh, now, uh, what you need to know about these trousers is that there are one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 
20, there are 21 buttons on these trousers and only six of them, the ones in the bottom, are, uh, are decorative. All the other buttons uh, have to be used for mm. something. Well, actually, the, the one in the back is also decorative. It's called a knife. Because I don't want to have a, a knife. But you could borrow my knife. No, thank you. I'm against weapons, so but I will I'm... not wear a knife. So then that one becomes decorative. I tried last year, but it's so heavy. Yeah, it is. But you do have a nice folk costume. I got right, this so. for the conf for my confirmation from my grandparents, and it also has my name on it. And this was supposed to hang on this button, but yeah. it's kind of very heavy. And yeah, I don't want. I that. think it's more heavy than decorative. Anyway, 21 buttons out of which 7 are decorative means that putting these trousers on takes at least 15 minutes and if we need or if I need to go to the powder room I have to plan my visit to the powder room very carefully uh, because it is complicated to take them on and take them off and then put them back on again. And we chose to go as a pewter? Yeah. Our, we, we chose not to use silver because it takes so much time to polish, polish it but since there's so much silver and gold on my satin stone, mm. you know, I think we should, maybe I should give you a gift. Like, maybe. maybe I should buy you some silver buttons. It's okay, I don't Then I to. could polish them for you, because I like to polish. <clears throat> anyway, the trousers are here and uh, I will be wearing these tomorrow. Uh, and they go to the knees. Um, Arne was not very happy with the volume on his, but we had a, com a con conversation with uh, Maria at the Husfliden and she said they're not supposed to look like skinny jeans, there is supposed to be some volume to them, <laughs> even if they so, only go to the knees, so I, you can't change them. No, I get used to it. Yeah, anyway, nowadays you have, for tomorrow's, uh, I'm gonna just hang them back up, for tomorrow's folk costume you have another, uh, I'm gonna put them uh, My trouser is heavy. Yeah. So, this is the trouser. It has like... It's a, a romper? It's like a spiky buxer. Yeah, like a romper. romper. And it's long and it has buttons and embroidery with a slit on, mm -hmm. on the, around the feet. And it's edged with leather. Yeah, and I hope this is pewter. I haven't tried to polish them yet, but if it's silver, I shouldn't start now. No, <laughs> Because there's late. so many. And should we tell the story later? Yeah, we'll yeah. tell the story later. Anyway, and it's it a romper. With leather in the back. With leather in the butt. And also up in the front. And? And, and we show the pictures of the full costume on the cruise because on the Morisunda there was a guest, which you probably saw her on our, Insta, on our YouTube from Satstad. And she said it was a very nice full <coughs> costume. Okay, Arne. Okay, and then. We have also put on some new things. We can tell you why later. So these are the... What's that called? The Pink. braces. Braces. So this goes in like that. On the front. The little silver button is on the front like And then that. you can adjust the length with this one. And then I have put on buttonholes in the back because it wasn't any. And then you have the big buttons in the back and small ones in the front. When we tried them on the first time I thought the big should be in the front and then we saw there were more decoration on this so yeah. the small buttons must be in the front and the big ones in the back. Go figure. <laughs> but you can't see it after a mm -hmm. while. This is, you see it if, no you can never see this yeah. because you have to wear the, the vest also. And unlike the other pants, the knee ones, Arne loves the volume on these. These are actually, I feel more, it's more fitted, not fitted, but they are slimmer. Mm. So I like the volume on this. Yeah. So, so that's uh, the trouser. That's the trouser. So after the trouser, we put on a shirt. And now, because of the different folk costumes, we have two different shirts. Uh, you all know mine because I've talked about it before. Just hang on a minute. I am going to get it. <laughs> now mine is, uh, I'm very careful because... Yeah. I don't, don't touch. Oh, sorry. I've had it this professionally done this time. It's been done by our dry cleaner. Um, it took. It takes two days to get it done so nicely and uh, beautifully. Uh, my shirt is in linen and uh, it's got the cuffs, of course, where we put in the cufflinks. 
And then I close uh, the, it here with a solia, a brooch, that I'll show you in a bit. And then it has a simple collar where I add um, a little scarf. Um, yeah, not touching this too much because, uh, you know, I want, it, I want it nice until I put it on tomorrow. And then it can wrinkle as much uh, as uh, it wants, you know. So, and this is the one from Satisdal. This is in cotton. Yeah, so it's so a different it's material. Much easier to iron. And this one has this knippringer. I think it's called tatting in English. Tatting lace, yes. In lace, you can see. Handmade. On the collar you have this tattings. And also on the sleeves you have the, the tatting. And there are big buttonholes here because yeah. there's got will be a big silver button. Button that goes in there. And this has it's a bit different. There's more more pleated like wrinkles in the back. Yeah. Or also on the shoulder, so it's different from the Gudbrand style. Yeah, it's been cleaned a couple of times because there, it was a little, it was had been used uh, quite well, and uh, it needed a thorough. Uh, and it's almost 50 years yeah, old. Yeah, so it did need a thorough cleaning from the dry cleaner. Plus, we did it ourselves. And a we, of times. this is a very good thing. If you have something white fabric and if it's a little bit stain on it, you use the lemon mm -hmm. soap. Yeah. So you just wet the garment and you rub the soap in. It's where good, you yeah. need it and then you put lay it let it be in the water overnight and mm. the next morning you rinse it and hopefully it's gone yep. and it works it, it works very well now so for jewelry Arne jewelry we uh, have the jewelry box. yeah we have the jewelry box and uh, if we start with me uh, I have decided to borrow to you know because I want to I want to, you know, match you a little bit, even though we're wearing uh, full costumes from two different places. But my have this kind yeah. of the fil filigree. Is yeah. It fil filigree. Your stuff from Gubbrandstaden has the filigree, and uh, yeah, this is the filigree here. And uh, for tomorrow, I asked Arne kindly if I could borrow his, and, and he you said can. yes. No, that's not the filigree. You can put that down. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's not the filigree. No, it's here. So I because will... I am. So so bedazzled. Yeah, he's going to be so bedazzled. I want to match him <laughs> a little bit. So for tomorrow, I will be wearing this celia, which has filigree on it. And uh, there is also um, the cups, which are here. And these cups also have... Uh... Oops. Uh oh oh. Uh oh. Well, we'll get it in a bit. And the cups here, which also have the filigree work on them, which are really lovely. Uh, I think I'm just gonna crawl down and pick up the other one yeah. while you show the cups that and you And then wear. I have, it's more silver. You have the, what you call hengsle, Carlos? Braces. You have the braces with the gold and silver. Actually, it's silver with the gold layer on, layering on top. So I found it. Good. <laughs> And he's back. And then this is my cufflinks. They are a little bit different. I think maybe I should polish these. Yeah, well, you're going to be polishing all the silver tomorrow, so you could do those as well. Where's the plastic bag for this, this one? Mm -hmm. And then up in the shirt, I have the big silver button, which also was a gift. It came with the folk costume. Yep. Here it is. No, no, hang on. I'll, show, I'll just. Should I? No, this one I, I don't have to polish. So this one will be up here. The huge silver buttons. And. Also a gift that came with the folk costume. And in addition to that, Arne has to wear a horn ring, it's called. Mm -mm. And that goes through the blouse shirt up here. And this is. It's gold, silver, but it has the layer. It's silver, gold plated silver. Gold plated silver. So this one. It's like a buckle that goes in the shirt. It holds the shirt together up yeah. there. So we added a lot of silver to make it more correct. I yeah. guess. So pretty much uh, me, just a simple solia and cuffs. Arne will have button, horning, and cuffs. I think that's all the yeah. silver. Then I am doing something that you are not. Um, I will be wearing a scarf with my full costume. 
And now we're getting quite a collection, as we've got quite a few. We'll tell you why we've got these, but uh, I am going to do this one here. Um, nice silk scarf, which matches, or I, in my opinion, it complements my vest. I think it look, that color looks really good with your vest. It does, yeah. So uh, you kind of roll it up. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it properly now, but just you know, quickly to show you. Yeah, it'll go around here, and then it will tie, it will tie here, and come up here, and then these high are hidden inside the vest. And then the 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 cellia will be somewhere. coming yeah. down from below. So that's what I'll be doing. Uh, but Arne, tell them why. Tell everybody why you've got two. Yeah, because this is the one I started with, I think, the blue one. That's the one you chose for Christmas, for, Christmas. for the advent calendar. Yeah, but I feel, felt that it was a little bit like... Way, way. It wasn't bright enough. It was like... You call it boring. Blend it in with the rest. It yeah, bland and boring. I think those were yeah, the words. So you I used. changed to some one that is more colorful because I wanted the wanted it to pop more. Yeah, and this is lovely because it's got pink and purple. Why don't you take it out so we can see it? So, so here's mine. So changed, but you can use this one also okay. if you want. No, that one does not look good with my vest. So mm. there's Arnis. It's lovely, huh? So this is more purple. Yeah, beautiful. However. However, I am going to be wearing mine tomorrow, but Arne cannot wear the scarf not, not for... with uh, the Satterstars Bunad, so uh, he will only be able to wear this when we go to our nephew's uh, or our grandnephew's baptism sometime in September. Yeah, and then I will use the, sat the, the Gubranstalm yeah. Bunad because it's that's, in Gustar yeah. and it's Gubranstalm, so I feel that that's more. Yeah. So the baptism is in Gubranstalm, so he will wear the other folk costume with that. Yeah. So, in September, I'm wearing this one. Yeah. Okay. If, if, I'm, if I get another vest in another color, I can use <coughs> maybe, this Maybe, yeah. Because there's so many. Maybe it's with a red tartan. Could be good. Maybe. And we also bought this thing, polish thing, which is kind of smart in the arts and craft shop. Mm -hmm. you, have, you have this thing that you put, you put this under the button and then the cloth has all you need for the polishing, so maybe tonight I will try to polish something. I'm mm. not sure. Maybe I do it, but if if I start, I have to finish because uh, one can't be more shiny than the other. But we're bringing this also in yeah. case. Yeah, it'll and be nice. And then of course, so shirt, scarf. In my case, you with your bedazzled things. <laughs> and then <coughs> we need a waistcoat to go over that, a waistcoat to yeah. go over that. And you've already seen mine before. Um, and here it is. Uh, lots of issues with this one. We have to had to take up yeah. and sew it again and take up and sew the, the neckline because again. There's a lot of unwritten rules there. And it said you need to have experience with sewing. And we thought we had, so we just did what we normally do. We sew it together and we steamed the... Uh, we iron the, the seams allowance open, but in this case you shouldn't iron the seam allowance when you sew yeah. the collar. So I had to take this out because to make it more round, I think I even had to take it out again and make one more new seam mm -hmm. because it's not 100%. But anyway. But for today, since you have a jacket, it's fine. So yeah. there's a lot of things you, it's not written in the description, so you need to know these yeah. things. Anyway, we're very proud of the pockets, which match perfectly, and the vest is all mirrored, so it's really nice. So mm -hmm. I will be wearing that. And the vest for the Satis doll looks like this. It's short, it's more like a bolero. And it's white wool in the back. Yeah. With uh, eight buttons, and we also, we changed the so the clasp the pewter clasp with this one in gold which is actually in silver sil in silver with the gold gold plated, plated silver to make it even more festive well and uh, the ones who wear on the vest I'm going to use that on a jacket up yeah. on the, the neck so we spoke with Rista Silv the the silver company that we uh, 
feature or the workshop that we featured on our YouTube channel uh, when we were in Satterstone last summer. We had a word with them about the, the silver and they said always the silver button, the golden horn ring, and then you need the gold and silver clasp uh, on the vest. So we decided to, uh, yeah, to add that, uh, add that um, as that was what they recommended. And then optional is a, go um, a silver chain with a cross on it, but you yeah. don't have that. No. Anyway, well, so, so, much. <clears throat> so that's that. Then uh, comes the outer garment. Yeah. And in my case, uh, it is a jacket. That jacket is so heavy. Yeah, here is my jacket. It is now finally been tailor-made. to iron the... I have to iron it a little bit more before we leave. I have to roll it with the roller to get rid of all the stuff. But it's looking good. Uh, sleeves had to be redone yesterday or adjusted. But I think all in all, I'm very happy with it now. Just gonna do a little bit of, of um, rolling and yeah. maybe a quick steam. And after and that should be 17th it. of May, we will take it to the dry cleaner and have a professional steaming. <clears throat> yeah. So, And I have the sweater we bought in Satisdal. This one. Yeah. If it's not too warm, then I can wear this over the shirt and then put the, the vest, vest over. over. And I think that's actually very nice because yeah. you have so much embroidery and are these silver? Yeah, these are silver. So this I should... Or no, maybe pewter. I don't know. I don't... Well, we find out if I try to polish them. Yeah. So, so this one goes under. And Anne Mörk, when she were on the Hurtig Rutenbåd, we showed her the folk costume and she said that um, this is like, like this is the more festive sweater yeah. worn for weddings and mm. the costume like the one you have is the more the original yeah the which you can borrow if you like yeah but you can borrow mine if yeah you like. <laughs> oh we're so kind yeah and then <laughs> finally uh, and actually for for Arne there is an, another jacket that he could wear instead of the sweater, but you don't wear both the sweater and the jacket. Oh, that's too much. That's and I too think much. the sweater is enough. But yeah, but I mean, the thing was, he already had the sweater when the folk costume came and the folk costume didn't have a jacket, so it's perfect. You just wear the sweater and you're good. Hmm. And then, of course, the final touch uh, is not my favorite. <laughs> and you have already heard about me and Arne sitting, uh, watching Bridgerton and uh, making this hat uh, bigger and bigger. Um, I'm going to be very sporty and I'm going to put it on, but uh, I can tell you already now, I am not <laughs> going to feel comfortable, but here we go. See? I think it's nice. You need to wear the hat. Well. Hmm. And my hat is different. This one is kind of more, it's more flat. I'm going to take this off. Yeah. So I couldn't wear the other hat to the set is stolen because it's a different hat so yeah. I had to I like buy this, this one, one because it's got the core the yeah. and this is this was the last one in 58 yeah so I were lucky I got it from set stolen who's free and this hat hat also have a silver like chain. A chain and I took this more simple one you mm. can have one that is bigger and more expensive but then you have to send the hat to the silversmith. silversmith because the silversmith had to put it on the hat yeah but i think this is enough <clears throat> there's mm -hmm. so much already so yeah so i'm gonna wear this one yeah and i'm gonna um, i don't know maybe i'll just hold this in my hand if i can <laughs> uh like this uh we'll see uh when they do the sing the national anthem though we have to take the hats off Actually, if they do it while we're there, well, of course they will. We're going to be there at ten thirty when well, the they family see. comes out on the balcony, and then, then we, have we have to, to take, take off the hat the, off. Uh, the hat and stand like this while they sing the national anthem, and then and then we'll have to put them on. <laughs> and uh, yeah, anyway, uh, w watching seven or eight no eight episodes of Bridgerton in our pajamas, uh, wearing the hat, did do wonders yeah, because it's, uh, it's perfect yeah. size wise. Yeah. But I hate it. I absolutely hate. I like wearing hats. a hat. Yeah, but you look good you in hats. You can put it in the back like this. Yeah. Then you look younger. You think? Then this way you look a little bit or older. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I don't know. So, so yeah, well, so that is it. That's uh, our folk costumes. Now that we made a total mess here, when you get in the car, 
or when you go down to down pick to pick car. up the car uh, while you do that I'm gonna clean this all up and yeah. I'm gonna pack it beautifully and don't forget anything and I'm not gonna forget anything and I'm actually gonna bring all the jewelry just in case I change my mind about the filigree and I'm actually bringing all my garter bands as well so uh, yeah that's it we're gonna be looking uh, like that tomorrow but, um, Carlos we have to remember we have to tell the story we do yes so just before New Year I think it was yep we got an email from Gary in Washington. Yeah, in Tacoma. Tacoma. And he wrote to us and said that he had a Satistan costume. Well, originally he heard us or heard you say in one of the Advent episodes yeah. that you wanted uh, or that you were thinking of starting to save up for a full costume yeah. for Satistan. And then he wrote to us and said that he had one because. It, was it in 1974? Yes. He had bought a Sattestals Bunad that was actually made for a man who should do folk dance in Big Day Folk Museum. Yeah, at the Norsk Folk Museum yeah. in Oslo. And the Bunad was just finished and then he cancelled the order. Yeah. And then Gary got the offer to buy the Sattestals costume because he was dancing Norwegian or Scandinavian folk dance in Washington. Yep. Yeah. And now he had grown out, out of it and he didn't have anyone to take over. So he wrote to me and asked me if I wanted to have the folk costume. So I got the email. And I was shocked. Yeah. I couldn't answer. Yeah, I, couldn't. I got the email and I was also uh, yeah, wordless. And then um, I showed Arne and I said to Arne that this gift is something I believe you will have to accept because it comes from a very special place in, in yeah. uh, Gary's heart. Um, and uh, Gary heard us talk about traditions and the way you know things should be, uh, you know, passed on from generation to generation. And he is uh, delighted that Arne accepted the gift and that he's now making it his own because that's also something about receiving something and then making mm. it your own. So I like we had to say yes, and I just I was really shocked. And yeah, very kind of a very emotional thing, like when you receive a gift like that, and also that you get the story behind the folk costume, which yeah. I'm, which we now can bring on to next next generation, because one day will come where I can't wear it anymore, and then we will find someone who can who can have it have it. Yeah. So the folk costume can live on for many many years, yes. and. So also, that fact that we added some things that that was missing made a, made like an extra value to the folk costume. Yeah. And we also saved the story. We written down all this or printed all the stories we got. So that will also be with the folk costume. Yeah. So people, the, the one who receive it after me will know the story. Yeah, and it's got a wonderful story made in 1974 for a dancer. Ended up in the USA where it spent 50 years and then Gary passed it on to Arne and it moved back to Norway. So, uh, we sent it to, we received it in March mm -hmm. and we had it sent over to our dry cleaner who does all our dry cleaning for us. They actually had to send it out to another dry cleaner as well to clean all the leather. So it came back in uh, almost as good as new. Yeah. And then we added, we changed the braces. Yeah, because, yeah, and so I also have to f uh, make it stronger in the back and put on some buttons. Yeah, reinforce the back. So, and, and so we could get, get it on. Because since it was cancelled, when it just was finished, some things didn't, they weren't not there. The, the buttonholes were not there. And I was very excited, like, or anxious, or what should I say? Spent? spent. Um, uh, Anxious or excited? Yeah, because will it fit or, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. or will it not fit? And when it came and I put the trouser on, it fits me perfectly. It was like, like think that never happens. Mm. It, it, it was, I was thinking, what, what if it's too big or too small? And can we do the changes? Yeah. And nothing was made. It was just like, it was made for me. Yeah. Thank you, Gary. It was a perfect <laughs> fit and thank you, Gary, so much for your wonderful gift, which Arne will cherish for as long as he can wear it. And tomorrow I will be very proud wearing it. Yeah. It's going to be a wonderful Sutnamai um, and it's going to be a big Sutnamai. Our celebrations were put uh, on pause for two years uh, because of COVID. Tomorrow is, uh, or 
yes, today when you guys see this, but tomorrow is going to be the, the biggest Sutnamai uh, since World War II. Uh, they are expecting 30,000 children to march uh, across the palace. Uh, the royal family will be working very hard. Yeah, they, <laughs> they, will be on, at the, they will be there for uh, three or four hours at the top of the balcony waving to all the children. We, on the other hand, are luckier. We get to come and go as we please because we have special tickets. So uh, we can go and, and wave to kids uh, <laughs> from under the balcony. And then when we are a little bit fed up of that, we can go into our friend's house and have some drinks. And then we can come out again and, and wave and, and go back and, and back and forth, back and forth yeah. like that. So so I guess we are uh, we are not working as hard as the royal family. They do have to say hello to 30,000 children. Uh, but it's going to be special. I mean, uh, they are calculating that it's going to be the biggest Sutnamai since the one celebrated in 1946. Yeah. So um, I am looking forward to tomorrow. And some of the, our friends from the cruise will actually experience it. Yeah. Because they are still in Oslo. Oh. And hopefully we will meet some of them. And there is one more thing. What did you find? One more thing. <laughs> now, I am oh, yeah, thinking, yeah. because Arne gave me this when I became a Norwegian citizen, and I am actually thinking that I want to put this on here. It will go on the left side of my jacket. Uh, Is it on this side? Yes, no, left, sorry, left that's left the right side. side. So it, it goes on the, on the, it goes on the side, side where your heart is. So I am seriously considering <laughs> this uh, on my jacket somewhere here. You should take it out because you can't see it behind you or through yeah. you. You're not made like of that. glass, Carl. I know. <laughs> anyway, I'm considering this uh, to put this on my jacket uh, for Sutnamai. Now, uh, we do have something called the Folk Costume Police, and that is all the nosy neighbors, as we also know them. <laughs> they come and uh, they judge you, and they actually get into your business, which is none of their business, telling you what is right and what is wrong. Um, and many of the folk costume police say that you can't wear this with a folk costume. You can only wear this if you're wearing civilian clothing. But if they come and say that to me, I will kindly remind them that I have seen countless of images of the royal family wearing their folk costumes with this on Sutnamai. So if it's good enough for the royal family, <laughs> it's good enough for me. But I, th I think I can't wear it. No, I'm so bad at it already. It's yeah, too it much. will. It will. It will just be. <laughs> it'll. It'll look weird. Um, so I'm not doing that no but i i may do you it. Can wear it i will probably do it uh but i have to get it in on the right place and in order to do that i have to put on the jacket and then arne will help me find the right place and yeah if the folk pass costume police uh, come and uh, try to arrest me uh, i'll tell them that i've seen a lot of pictures of the queen and of the crown prince wearing these with their folk costumes so. but uh, when i had to when i made the, the buttonholes on the back of my trousers before i did it i had to do some for tightening it and uh, reinforcements. reinforcements and I didn't dare like I before I started I had to call the Husfriden in Valde in Sattestal yeah. and I asked them and the lady I talked to said that well that's actually how people did it in the old days it's yeah. actually a folk costume after all yeah and you people, pass them from generation to people generation did change thing to make them last longer yeah. and also that skirt I found in my grandmother's uh, in the barn yeah in my grandmother's farm that the skirt had an extra like a new fabric in the back because it was probably worn out mm. so that's what people did yeah and in my case uh, being born uh, a swedish uh, a, a swedish citizen now a norwegian resident why did i choose to get the folk costume from gubbrandstal and why didn't i get the folk costume from valdres where i live or where we live. And I decided that I wanted the folk costume from Gudbrandsdalen because that is where my Norwegian family, which is Arne's family, comes from. And my thinking is that the folk costume is the finest uh, clothing that you have. And uh, one day when I no longer can wear it or when I'm no longer here, um, it is my hope that somebody in our family mm. will take it over. Yeah, and then it's and you know, nobody will want to have a folk costume from Valdres in our family because, because they, nobody, don't have any they don't roots. have any connection here. No. Because all the roots are in Gudbrandsdalen or, or in Sättestal or in, or in Agde. Agde. Yeah. 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 So I think it's, it's nice to have something like from your roots. To also. pass on to new generations. So there will be a lot of happy young boys 
in the future. And now we have three. We can give three away three Falcon students. The There's lots of boys there, so and maybe they'll get boys. <laughs> we'll have so to fight about it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I think this is pretty much it. Uh, we have done a good run through of uh, the full costumes that we're going to be wearing. Uh, you've heard the story of the amazing full costume from Satterstall that started in Norway, in Oslo, went to Washington State and now has been returned to Norway and is with Arne who will be taking good care of it for as long uh, as he can or mm -hmm. you know forever. And bring on the story from yeah. Gary and from Focus. Yeah, so we want to thank you so much, Gary. We dedicate this episode of Sit In It for a bit entirely to you. <laughs> uh, we are both, even though I didn't get any costume, we're both eternally grateful for your very generous gift. We thank you so much. And uh, I can't wait to see Arne wearing it uh, tomorrow. And I am super excited about the the surprise this will cause everybody. So I don't mind going a little bit backstage uh, and letting you shine tomorrow in your beautiful folk costume with its wonderful story. <laughs> I'm so sorry I have so much gold and silver. I know, uh, like a peacock. I should borrow something. You should have some of it, half of it. No, no, no. You're gonna be looking <laughs> great tomorrow. And uh, yes, hip hip hurra hip, and uh, gratulera med dagen tomorrow uh, on Sutemai. Or yesterday. Or, or yesterday or yeah, it's actually tomorrow for us. Yeah. And I think I had to go and pick up the car. Yeah. And so you should pack all the stuff. Oh yeah. And now we've made a total mess. So, well, at least with a mess, I know exactly how to structure this up so I can yeah. get it packed properly. And so formalities. If you like our videos, put your thumbs up. And if you're a subscriber, put on your notifications so you won't miss an episode. And get on the mailing list. Get on the mailing list. Um, next, week, next week, we are going to be back with a new episode of Sit In It For A Bit. It's going to be the last episode before summer. Uh, and in that episode, we are going to recap uh, the last few weeks, which have been super busy. Uh, and uh, we're also going to talk about the future of Sit In It For A Bit again, <laughs> as we need to rethink it one more time. We have anyway, to change. Again. Again. Always. So, we are uh, very grateful uh, that you keep uh, watching, sit in it for a bit, and we look forward to seeing you again for the last time before the summer next week. So, see you next week! Bye! Bye. Hurra for sit in the mai!